Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Terrible. So we're talking about a real issue we've been having with this Blue Eddy EB3A, okay? And just issues in general. There's already another issue, uh, video that we've made uh, that has talks about a bunch of issues that we've had with this device. But today, or fairly recently, we've run into a new set of issues that will probably change your mind if you wanted to buy this or not, okay? So uh, just to give you a quick uh, disclaimer more information, we, nobody sent this to us, we bought this with our own monies and we actually have more than one of these, either have four or five of them, I can't remember, but two of them have issues, okay? Uh, this one has the fatal issue of the DC short. So right now, as you can see here, nothing happens, okay? Uh, we'll bring in closer and take a better look at it, but right now, nothing is happening with this unit and yes, it is fully charged, okay? So uh, without too much further ado, I'm gonna show you the issues and then we're gonna see if we can fix the issue. And I don't know if we can fix it or not, but we're gonna try. So this right here is EB3 up close. And if you've seen our other video, you know, this is the one that Wobbles had one of the feet missing, okay? And we've been using it ever since. It's been working most of the time just fine. But now, right now, it doesn't even come on and it is fully charged. So just to show you that, I'm gonna take this power cord which is obviously plugged into the wall, or well, maybe not that obvious, but you can take my word for it. I'm gonna plug it in here and we'll see what happens. Because if you plug it in, what you will see is that it'll come on, right? It'll say 100% charged. Uh, there used to be a little, oh, there it is right there. It says short. So it's 100% charged, it's shorted, but there's nothing plugged into here, as you can see. There's nothing plugged in there, uh, nothing here, nothing plugged in anywhere here. Uh, you can turn the light on. Right, we can even uh, turn the AC outlets on. We can even turn on, can we turn that? Yeah, we can turn on the DC, right? But DC's blinking, it's just short. If I unplug this, power off. Even though it's 100% charge, nothing works, okay? So I'm gonna attempt to fix this and I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but let's get to it. So let me go ahead and throw up a disclaimer here. We're gonna take this thing apart and try to fix it. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna throw a disclaimer here because what I'm about to do is definitely gonna avoid your warranty. So I'm not telling you to do this. This is just an experiment of me tinkering around with this and seeing if I can fix it, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take it apart. It's gonna avoid your warranty and it's gonna be extremely dangerous, mainly because there's a battery in here, it's charged, there's capacitors, you can get shocked, all kinds of stuff. So this is not a video on how to fix it. This is a video of me just tinkering with it to try to fix it. I am not telling you to do this, okay? So with that being said, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Uh, this one obviously has a foot missing already. Uh, if you looked at our other videos on, on our previous channel, you know, we've obviously had a foot missing for a long time and I, it was a missing when we got out of the box, okay? So one thing I do know uh, just by looking here is that there is four screws here. I'm gonna take all of these feet off mainly because in order to unbox this, we're gonna have to uh, pretty much take all the screws out, okay? So if I look closely in here, I mean, you probably can't see it at the angle, but I can tell you there's a shiny thing in there. I don't know what kind of screw it is, probably a Torx or Phillips, but I'm gonna try a, hey, look, look how easy that one came off. Uh, I'm gonna try a uh, Phillips head because most likely it's a Phillips and then we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna take a Phillips, chuck it into my drill here. Um, let's see. Does it itch? There, oh, it caught. Actually, I think it is a Phillips. That worked way too easily, all right? So let's go take this. Yep, there we go, that one came off. Go ahead and take this one here. Well, that worked. Go here. All right, so, uh, how does this come off? feels loose. Oh, there it goes. Well, let's see if we can get the stuff out of here. Let's go take a look. All right, it looks like four uh, Phillips screws came out. Yeah, that one kind of just fell there. So let me grab these screws here. All right, so with the screws removed, let's see if we can pop this uh, lid off. Uh, sometimes you gotta shake it. Looks like there's a cable here that kind of ties this uh, out uh, wireless charger here. Let's go ahead and just pull that off. Uh, I wouldn't reach too far and I would just grab it right here by the edge. Oh, that came off pretty easily. Um, so there's that. If you go back and look in here, well, actually, let's go ahead and say don't touch anything in here, um, especially because, you know, it's going to be extremely dangerous. I'm sure even if it's off, 
capacitor is still a charge that we don't know where the current's being cut off or at least i don't because you know I, I didn't design this thing so uh, with that being said uh, i can definitely tell you these types of wires right here with with you know just basic electronics engineering uh these big types of wires right here with this like uh, discount XT60 connector, maybe it's a 20, 40, 60, I don't know what kind of connector it is. Um, this is obviously going to be for power, so that's no computer or anything like that. Obviously, it's got transformers, inductors, all kinds of resistors and stuff like that. So, um, I don't know. This looks like it goes to the, uh, what do you call this, uh, display, power for the display. So, one thing we're going to try to do is I'm going to see if we can unplug this I can't figure out if this is a is a display cable or if this is a cable right there and I did exactly what I told you not to do not to not to mess with it so one thing we're going to try to do I'm going to try to unplug this uh, cable right there uh, I'm going to grab some needle on those pliers I'm going to grab this pinch up the uh, white part that kind of holds that uh, connector in there locks the connector in there look at that we'll pull this connector out um, yeah looks like if you look at it, actually there's labels here it says lcd signal that's what that says this looks like it's 2u1 so i don't know what uh, that means but we're going to go ahead and see if we can plug it in wait a few minutes right and then uh, unplug it and see if that will clear the short so let's plug this in right here try not to touch you know pretty much anything that will probably shock you or give you hazard or anything like that Looks like this display is still here. And as you can see right here, the short icon is gone, but we didn't turn anything on yet. So let's turn that on, right? That's on, the light works. Let's turn that off. Let's turn the AC outlet on. Okay, you can't turn the AC outlet on, maybe because we unplugged that. The circuit breaker doesn't do anything. Right now, DC is on and there is no short button, okay, or no short display icon. So for some reason, it looks like this AC button cannot come on. The question is, if I unplug this, will it stay on? Aha, look at that. We unplugged this cable and it still stays on. And if you remember correctly, previously, um, it would turn off, right? So. Everything still works right now, except for the AC. So with that being said, uh, we need to find a way to turn this off. Um, let's just see if we can somehow, oh, hold that, it'll turn off. Let's see if we can plug this back in. Um, I'm gonna do it with some pliers here, mainly because I don't wanna put my fingers all the way in there and touch some other stuff that I'm not aware of what exactly that is. So let's go ahead and plug this in. As you can see right here, uh, we plug that in. It's a little awkward to do at this weird angle. Let's see if I can show you this way. Just push that into the board. The connector is locked back in. Um, I guess just for safety reasons, I'm going to plug this in or this top part in and back to this board right here. If you see right here, there's a connector right there. Plug this in right here. Is that the right way? Yeah, that's definitely the right way because it can only go in one way. So there's that. This obviously goes in this way. Let's close this button. There you go. We're not gonna secure it or anything like that yet or put the screws in. Let's just see if it works, okay? So, uh, turn light on. That works. Uh, let's AC, cause that didn't work earlier. The AC is on. And the DC is on and there is no short, okay? So, um, Let's see if we plug this in, will it go in the UPS mode, right? Because that's usually what plugging in uh, mains power will do. Plug in the mains power. It's plugged in, but it's not on UPS mode by any means. Oh, there it is, UPS mode. All right, so let me go grab something to plug in here and see if we can get this working again. So I literally grabbed the quickest thing I found just right over my shoulder. Uh, this right here is just the Ryobi battery charger. Um, obviously this probably won't take too much, especially because you know there's no battery on it right now. So if I plug this in, uh, the battery light, the charger light does come on. Let me try to plug that in and it is blinking charging. Look at that output 70, uh, 70 watts, 29, 59. So that works. Let me unplug this cable here, which is mains power. 
Um, obviously it's not on UPS mode anymore because mains power is now plugged in and we are good. Looks like unplugging that, plugging this in, turning it on, cleared the short that was here. Uh, so if you have that problem, obviously, you know, that's how you. All right, so I'm really glad that worked because we did pay our own monies for all these units that we have. And if that didn't work, it would be a $210, however much you paid for it, brick. And that'd be pretty upsetting because I don't feel like I got $200 of reuse out of this thing, all right? So um, if you have that DC short or whatever short unit, maybe doing exactly what I did may help you. It may not. I don't know what causes that problem, but um, obviously doing that cleared the issue for me, okay? So just need a, a long number two bit, and I would definitely encourage using, um, if you're gonna do this, you know, some neon pliers so your hands don't have to go in there and touch electronics, mainly because it's probably gonna be a shock hazard, capacitors, batteries, all kinds of fun stuff. Like I said, I am not telling you to do this. This is just how I fixed it, mainly because trying to contact a Blue Eddy support was just not very great. If you find, or if you know of any person who has had good luck or good experience talking to Blue Eddy support and getting an actual resolution, then please post it in the comments below because I would really like to uh, talk to that person because I would say most people just do not have a good experience with support, okay? So like I said, I'm glad that it worked. It worked on this EB3 and hopefully, you know, we won't run into the issue again, but if we do, hopefully we can just you know, keep doing that and fixing it. But it's a really big hassle mainly because, you know, you don't want to have to open this up on a campsite or tailgating, whatever, right? That's just going to suck. So um, hope this video helped you out. Um, have a great day and we'll see you guys next time.